Judith Roche. Um, my art piece is called Salmon Sweet. It's a cycle of five poems about five separate seasons of salmon here at the locks. And one of the ideas that came to me is at the locks, you should be able to press a button and hear a poem instead of just the information that you hear. The tapes will change every two, three months or so, but, and it'll go through the whole year cycle. Being young, I don't know where I go. I face my lake and float backward into my future, trembling on the lip of life, green shadowed. I go with the water's flow. The small poem is, is um, about being young and being just a baby and, and going into the rest of your life and in fact backing into the rest of your life because they come backwards. I remember, I remember, the hollowed nest and stream of stars the size of my eyes. I remember the swell of water, shape of light, celestial order to mirror the song of river, the constellations. There's one about celestial navigation. There are biologists who are actually exploring the possibility that salmon may use the stars for navigation. Not that anybody's saying yet that they're doing it, but it's a, it's a serious exploration. Um, and then there, there's one about salmon sex, of course, and salmon death. Eagle and osprey, raven and bear, stonefly and gull tear my flesh. My silt settles and salts the stream. It's so much the spirit, the spiritual totem for us here in the Northwest and, and represents the higher spirit in some way. I'm just so grateful that it happened and, and that we could do it and that all of the projects around will raise the awareness for salmon and, and the awareness of the spiritual quality of salmon and love throughout the city.